Okay, so today is April 19th. I am just leaving camp at Dismal Falls. And we have a short day. It's a 13 mile day to Woods Hole. And then Hamish rented a eight person van and we are headed to West Virginia to have Easter with his family. We are a little bit concerned today. Um, it's supposed to be pouring rain here in the next couple of hours. It's supposed to be really bad winds and really bad storm. And uh, we're also worried about old school. She jumped into Dismal Falls and hit the bottom and really sprained her ankle. Um, so hopefully everything is okay. She did walk out of camp today. I looked at her foot in the morning and it was pretty swollen. She says it's sore, but it should be all right. So hopefully she doesn't make it worse. Um, but the weather's really nice. It's like 50 or 60 degrees out. Um, it was super nice out last night. No rain, just wind. So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Um, we're gonna head to the first shelter and to Woods Hole Hostel, which is about 10 miles outside of Parisburg. And then we have a long two day rest for Easter. We, they, uh, we have a place to stay for free and then they said we have two Easter dinners to eat. So, see how it goes. So I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. So we are at Wapiti Shelter <laughs> and um, the rain just started. Uh, here's old school coming up from the privy. She's soaked. <laughs> um, we have 7.3 miles to go to Woods Hole and we have some weather coming. So, hopefully we don't get lightning and thunderstorms, but I think that it's going to happen. So, I'll let you know how it goes. Old school, tag along, zip, Professor and Alice. Okay, so it just started to rain. I think it's gonna pour here in a minute. We are seven miles from Woods Hole. Oh, just got my shoe wet. Um, no road from here to there. We have to keep going through this, get out of the, the lightning and stuff, so hopefully it doesn't get too bad. Um, keep you updated. Okay, so it just literally started to pour. I am drenched from head to toe. And we are making the descent down to the hostel. We still have like five miles to go. And they're saying that there's gonna be a tornado. So, I don't know how smart this was, but can't do anything about it now. Check in with you guys <laughs> later. <laughs> Here's Professor. Great. Oh, I'm so wet. Ah. I'm having a great time. <laughs> so much fun. We are minutes from the hostel. It's been a hell of a day. Uh, my feet are killing me. It's been pouring all day. Um, this is definitely the first torrential downpour that we've been in. Uh, but at least we can end somewhere warm. Uh, we got the rental car and we're going to take two days off for Easter um, go up to West Virginia and hang out with Hamish's family. Um, so, every, you know, the rain's kind of fun for a little bit, but then it gets old and cold and wet and your feet are working like twice as hard. So, glad to be here. I'll catch up with you later. Okay, so... We, it is April 22nd, and we are getting back on the trail from having two zeros for Easter. And we are hiking an 18 mile day to Rice Field Shelter. Just got back on the trail, walked a half mile from Woods Hole. Got Dom behind me. Uh, so it was a good two days off. My body really needed it, feeling pretty good. And we have six days until we get to Dalesville, which is like 100 miles. So we are carrying six days of food. So see how it goes. 
Um, I'll catch up with you guys later. We finally made it to camp tonight. We've been here for hours. 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 I set up my tent back here on this beautiful ball. Oh, the, the view is so gorgeous. And the shelter is behind me, like right here. Um, I'm not going to stay in there. It's too beautiful. Um, but we did an 18 mile hike today. I don't know where we're going tomorrow. <laughs> find out later. So, peace out. I'm here at Rice Field Shelter and this is the sunset behind me. Um, it is beautiful. Um, this is a great shelter. It's like mile 650 or something. I don't remember what mile it is, but it's gorgeous. Everybody's still arriving. We're, uh, people are just arriving. But we're still waiting for, for Professor Atlas and um, Ziploc. I am tenting up on this bald. And this is Timber walking towards me. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hey, uh, Reboot. Yeah. Tag along, make it? Yeah, here. Okay. So everybody's accounted for? Yep. Except for Atlas. Today is April 23rd, and I just left the rice field shelter, which was a beautiful shelter on a bald. The morning was gorgeous. We are thinking about the shelter at 16.5 miles, or there's also a campsite at 20 miles that's similar to the one that we had yesterday or today, this morning, so we might do the bald again because it's so beautiful. But it's going to be a gorgeous day. They said up to 75 degrees. Um, everything's starting to bloom. All the wildflowers are out. The bugs are starting to get out. So it's a great, it's a great day to be on the trail. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye. Okay, so just made it to camp after 20 miles and it's like 8 o'clock. It was a really long day. The last four miles sucked. I've got Ziploc with me. I've got Tinder. Really glad to be here. It's we wanted to get to this awesome view, which is pretty beautiful. Um, but glad I'm here. Glad it's time to go to bed. Okay, so today is April 24th. I just left the campsite at Wild Rock or something, mile 664, and we are headed to the 16 mile or 17 mile shelter from there. We also pass a shelter at five miles, and a shelter at 10 miles, and then a shelter at 17 miles. So um, we need to make it to Dalesville in six days. This is our third day, um, which means that we really need to do like 18 to 20 every day in order to, to make it because we're only carrying six days of food. Um, so we'll see how it goes. The terrain is kind of like a heartbeat today. It goes up and down and up and down, and the elevation is like, we make a fifteen hundred dollar fifteen hundred climb and then down a thousand feet and then back up another thousand feet so it's like it's gonna be kinda hard today. But that's okay. We've had it kinda easy the last couple of weeks. So see how it goes. And I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. Here at mile six seventy two and guess what? Trail magic! Ooh. Yay! hot dogs and sodas and cookies and just at the right time when we're like shortage on snacks and days away from town the best ever trail magic <laughs> professor's coming it's a good day <laughs> tag along is happy <laughs> awesome thanks so much we really appreciate it right at the gap <laughs> okay, so it is at the end of the day. It's 8 p.m. And we started the day saying that we were going to do 17 miles to this shelter that we just passed up. But in order to get to Dalesville in six days, um, we need to hike more. So I have the sun set to the left of me here. Um, and we are hiking on. 
additional six more miles to the next shelter, which means that we will be at a hostel and 17 more miles the next day when it's supposed to rain. Um, we expect to be in camp in maybe three hours, doing a two mile an hour pace. Hopefully we can do a little bit quicker, uh, which means that we'll roll into camp around 11. Which means we have this tent be really quiet um, so that we don't wake up anybody. So, see how it goes. This is the first time I'm doing some night hiking. I got my headlamp on. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So, I'll let you guys know. See you later. Bye. Okay, it's starting to get dark. Here we go. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait. Take another video when it's dark out. But. Okay, so we are two miles in to our six mile hike. So far it's going well. You can't see anything <laughs> because of my light. <laughs> And it's dark out. <laughs> Let you know when we get there. Okay, so we just left the campsite. 90 shelter. Mile 687. Um, last night we got into camp around 1130. Uh, old school was really hurting, so um, we all just walked in together. Um, just left the campsite at 840 this morning, so we're a little bit behind. But it was a long night last night, so we slept in. We have a 17 mile day today to Four Pines Hostel. Um, it's supposed to maybe rain today, um, but it is supposed to rain Friday, so we are either gonna wait it at the hostel or go ahead and move on and do McAfee Knob in the rain. Um, we have Dragon's Tooth today and then McAfee Knob tomorrow. So last night was pretty fun. Um, night hiking. Literally saw the most wildlife I've seen ever within that six mile stretch night hiking. So saw a couple deer, saw a couple mice. Um, then earlier that day walking up the hill I saw a coyote. Um, so it was kind of cool to see the wildlife. So I'll check in with you guys later maybe at Dragon's Tooth or at the hostel. Um, so bye! 700 miles! Oh my gosh! Yay! <laughs> it's been a very long, exhausting last couple of days. We've done some big miles to get here and our bodies are broken. Yay. But it's really exciting. 700. We have about three more miles until Dragon's Tooth and then another mile to the hostel. And we're going to stay at the hostel tonight. And then tomorrow is McAfee Knob. So things are going well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Maybe be a little bit more excited. I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> 700. See you guys later. We're doing the um, ascent down from Dragon's Tooth, and it is crazy. Like, um, it's literally bouldering all the way down um, the path. I'd recommend putting your trekking poles away and just going for it. Um, There's ladders. And there are ladders, right. Um, so what does that tell you? Oh, they say it's like a mile down, it's two, two miles down and it's like, it'll take um, us like an hour to complete. So, it's kind of a bummer. Oh yay, we made it to Four Pines. That was a really long 17 miles. The last two miles is undescribable. I can't wait for you guys to try it. It is rocky and point, there was a section that was 0.2 miles that took us 40 minutes to get through. So what a day. So excited to be here. And it's like a reunion. Everyone is here. We've got Bear Bait, Professor, Atlas, Reboot, Tagalong, and Ziploc at Four Pines. So I am at Outdoor Trails, about to pick up my next package from Frank Buckley. This place is pretty cool. They have like everything in Daleville. We decided to take a zero today at Four Pines because of the weather. Um, it's supposed to rain today, but I'm looking outside and it's not raining yet. This guy has my package. 
soon. Um, so uh, thanks again, Frank Buckley. When we get the package, we'll open it up and see what's inside. Um, so excited. So see you guys later. So the package just arrived from Frank Buckley, and it is 14 pounds. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what is inside? So um, I'll let you guys know. But wow, it's very heavy. So this is the second box that I got from Frank Buckley. It is a full resupply. So you got tuna, potatoes, ramen, powdered milk, lunamars, oatmeal, some Reese's, jerky, and of course, Jack. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thanks, Frank. We appreciate it. Give me a peace sign. <laughs> Professor's like, nope. Sweet. We got new school. The new pack. Yay. <laughs> That's the right way to go. <laughs> okay, so today is April 26th, and it is my two month anniversary. We decided to take a zero today at Four Pines Hostel because it was supposed to rain. Here's timber. Um, and it rained a little bit, but there's some really high winds, and it, the temperature dropped like crazy. So we are going to wake up fairly early tomorrow and head out around 8 30 or 9 to go to McAfee Dom spend uh, several hours there and then maybe hike to the first shelter which is a mile be after that or another five to the next shelter which would make a 15 mile day which means it's 10 more miles to Danville and then I don't know if we're going to take another zero but we are going to wash our clothes and do some town things. I'm taking a zero. <laughs> Deborah's <laughs> taking another zero. Two zeros in four days. Yeah. That's awesome. So it's really cold right now. Everybody's hanging out inside.